Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geek Shorts. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian. I'm joined in studio by Todd Lascola from the Havana Cigar Club. Welcome, Todd. Thank you, Paul. I almost couldn't remember the name of Next Door. <laughs> Isn't that pretty funny? <laughs> I don't know what's we're only there every day. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I need to sip some more of my rye whiskey. I don't know. It's not very good rye whiskey, to be honest with you. What did you choose? You had, you're drinking some rum. Yeah, the rum's pretty good. Mm. That's old monk rum. Old monk. Yes. Uh, um, today, we're going to be talking about the Fernando Leon. I'll hold it up there for the camera. Family Reserve. Yep, the Preferido number one. And well, because this is a regular line of cigars. Yes, the Fernando Leon. That's a regular Family production. Reserve is a regular production, and then you have the Pre Preferido line, which was released last show. And but this, uh, there's no different tobaccos aged. Oh, okay. So they're just aged more. Because more. you visited the factory and you were smoking these, so you know yes. a little more about the cigar than I do. I, I've actually been fortunate enough to spend a couple of trips mm. down down to uh, the La Aurora factory, and um, it's definitely a different profile than the Fernando Leon Family Reserve yeah. regular line. It's, it's a totally little bit different, without a question. Um, and you can see, if you can see mine, it's. Uh, you know, the ash burns perfectly. It does. Even, even on a Preferito number one, which is not the easiest cigar. To burn sometimes because burn. of the shape. Yeah. yeah. And it's 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 a perfect cigar. So the tobacco is a little more aged they put in these. And, of course, the shape makes them put different ratios of filler tobacco. Absolutely. Most likely. Our and friend Manuel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Manuel, he did a great job with this one. I really like it. It's my favorite Fernando Leone. It, it is. I the, like it better than the Guillermo Leone. I think it stands out to me as the bell of the ball between both of those, yeah, those Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I feel the same way. Mm. Um, I actually like the Fernando Leone family reserve in the regular line. Yeah. A little bit better than, I mean, the Guillermo Leone mm. better oh, than I like the Fernando I in the you. regular family reserve line. But in, but in the Preferito. Preferito yeah. The Fernando Leone is phenomenal. It's interesting. Uh, it's a Dominican Corojo wrapper and binder. Yes. Which is interesting to have the wrapper the same as the binder. Although they say Dominican Corojo, that could be different primings. Could be it, it could it, be slightly it, different types of Corojo. I'm sure that absolutely it's is. not the same exact we, Dominican Corojo they're using for wrapper and binder. When right? we were blending, um, fortunate enough to blend cigars, our own cigars. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, mine's just about ready after the... Uh, March trip for for you to try one. Mm. Um, this is my second attempt because I did it a few years ago. Nice. And um, and and even at the the limited amount they gave us to choose mm -hmm. to blend with, there were four different Corojo Dominican Corojos. Gotcha. There. Okay. And the uh, filler is Peruvian, Brazilian, and Dominican. Yes. And that's true for the entire line, including this Preferito number one, which clocks in at a six by fifty-eight in that traditional, of course, what we call the uh, Preferito number one size. Um, Will Cooper, of course, did a write-up on cigar-coop.com, so you can find more information about this cigar. Um, it's the tenth in the line. And he said something about the Fernando was Guillermo's father, yes, who started La Aurora. And that this Fernando Leone was his own personal blend. Yes. And that the cigar was originally a Corona Vitola that he would share with people uh, close to him. As most people that have tobacco or you know own their own tobacco will have their own cigars that they roll and Absolutely. hand out to people. And a lot of times those become regular or semi regular productions. Well, cigars. and and as we we've had on, I think we've had on the show before. Um, you know, there, there was a bunch of his personal Corona cigars mm. left in the factory that Luis Falto had had taken and brings up to us every time he comes up, brings us up a little sampling of, of right. 15, 16, 17-year-old cigars. And um, I know you've had several of them that I've... And, and this is not your typical La Aurora cigar. I mean, this has got a little spice, a little pepper, pepper. to it. It's a little pepper. I, it's a little, it keeps you honest, that it, little it, bit of pepper, it, it, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, it's still a medium bodied cigar, mm -hmm. but it definitely has a different flavor profile than most of the La Aurora. Until you, but all the Preferito line does. There's always a little bit more bite. Yeah. Um, and, and when I say a little bit more, I mean a little bit more, enough to get a, a wide variety of flavors. Um, you know, with the exception of, I think, the, the Black Diamond, the <laughs> Broadleaf wrapper, which that, one, that one's got the most uh, body, has the most strength yes, out of anything without a question. on that line. That, 
that's a that's a that's a relatively strong cigar. So I have that in almost a sixty ring. They made it for a particular store, I want to say, or Will sent me one to yep. review. Uh, that cigar was so strong. <laughs> it mm -hmm. was really strong. It was good. But it was really strong. It was really strong. No, without a question. Yeah. And um, but this one is—you're right. It's very medium bodied, but still, it, it grabs your attention with all the flavors that it's got going on. Without a question. Um, you know, beyond that morning smoke, uh, for me. So, yeah, I w I would not smoke this in the morning. But it's a it's a great cigar. In fact, it's yeah. it's the most most popular La Aurora cigar in our humidor outside of the true Preferito line. Right, which right. is hugely popular, and mm -hmm. obviously the Black Diamonds, um, which are the most popular, and but but whether it's the Emerald or the Sapphire, wherever you are now, that Connecticut, I love that Connecticut, um, but it's not a morning cigar. It has more bite than you would mm -hmm. expect it to for a Dominican Connecticut, as far right, as nicotine right. level. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm really digging the cigar, dude. This is one of my favorite La Aurora cigars. Of course, it comes in their iconic size in that preferito. Yeah, the, and, and, and the, some and of their number, best cigars come in this size. Yeah, and and the number one, the Fernando Leon, is just absolutely spectacular. Um, well, the one that they did for you, yes, it's the same exact size. Same exact size. It's the ours is the Santanos. Yeah, Santanos uh, two thousand number pref, one no, number one two thousand and three made in two thousand and three. Um, the number one is not for sale. Um, we bought up the entire inventory that was left, and so it's 1996 tobacco. Wow! In the Santanos, um, and we have them co-branded next door, um, which is really—I mean—that is how that came about. And I know we've talked about it on the show, mm -hmm. and I'll keep it really quick on that. But um, Manuel, when he came up to do the blending seminar here in December, brought us up a gift, which was. A bundle and of you those. Guys loved them and smoked yeah, them. And, and Leon went through his bundle mm -hmm. in about three weeks. And Leon's a five or six cigar a week guy, not mm -hmm. where we are. Right. And um, and he blew through them and he's just like, let's see if we can get some more. And I reached out to Manuel. He goes, we don't sell them. But we ended up working out a deal to take the rest of their inventory and bring it in in 10 count boxes. And, and that's how good this size is. I mean, I, it just in every every blend I've had of theirs in this size, their Cameroon in this size, uh, this particular cigar, it, it just they smoke so so awesome. They do in this size, and and, and I I do love the number two also. Um, it's a little bit obviously it's a shorter smoke. Yes, um, but I love the flavor profile in any of the number twos, and obviously mm -hmm. La Aurora is a big brand for us next door. Um, it, it's it's one of our top lines, and. Um, even though when you get into the preferitos, it can get it, get up there. But it's just a phenomenal stick. And this Fernando Leon number one preferito, if you've tried other Fernando Leones and you have not tried the number one preferito, you need to try that cigar. It's a different flavor profile. It's unique for La Aurora, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Yep. Go try it. It's full of flavor. I mean, it's pouring flavor for me right now. These things just keep getting better, too. Every yeah. time I smoke one, it seems to be a little it better. It is. Than the last it, 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 one. Like age is just melting this tobacco. And, and what's the retail price on this? Retail price is, um, is around $12. Okay. Um, obviously, at Havana, you get um, you member buy a box, or you get member discounts, but also even the retail gets a 20 percent off a box purchase wow um which is which is exceptional and obviously you can either email us call us at 401-287-4250 um you can reach out through stogie geeks um you know it's a daily event for paul and i to run into each other yes yeah email us the show at stogiegeeks.com we can hook you up thanks everyone for watching and we'll see everyone on the next episode of stogie geek shorts thanks everybody